That's actually really strong. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video where you join me today with this Mark VI Golf GTI. I feel like in the world of GTIs, I feel like the Mark VI definitely just gets scraped under the rug uh, in most instances, which is a shame because they're a great car, um, but it is rare that you come across them and have them on this channel. I filmed a couple before. Uh, this one though is a stage three car. It's KF4 swap, so we've got the KF4 turbo in there. Not currently forged, but is running about 380 brake horsepower at the moment. Of course, we're joined today with the owner, We'll get him on camera in a moment. He can basically talk us through everything that he's done to it before we go out on the road and experience this Stage 3 Mark VI GTI. Okay, so we're joined now with Carl, the owner of the car. I've got to say, this thing is absolutely immaculate Thank as well. <laughs> Aside you. of being uh, really tastefully modified, it is very, very clean. Whilst we're here, actually, of course, I normally plug the owner's Instagrams uh, in these kind of videos, but you've got a nice YouTube channel yeah, for yourself so as well. Everything's sort of going to be documented on, it, on the mm. car. The channel's called CNC Motorized, mm -hmm. um, taking you through the step-by-step -step build of the yeah. car. Uh, we've yeah. got Charlie's build on there as well. I'll put all the link uh, and everything down in the description. Uh, but anyway, back to this, um, as we said, really, really clean car. Pretty much all built by yourself yeah, as well. Yeah, that's it. So the only thing that wasn't done by me was mm. done by um, CTG Performance. Mm -hmm. yep. And you've recently had, obviously, Billy's yep. car on here. Yeah, the S1. Um, the S1, yeah, which is yeah, yeah. crazy power as well. Yeah, no, that was So yeah, yeah he done the fun. tuning for me. It's yep. making 380 horsepower yep. and 470 Newton meters of torque. Nice, yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. a decent bit of power. We did have more power, mm. but my clutches started slipping, so we gotcha. had to tone it down a yeah, little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, apart from that, it's got the KO4 turbo. It's got the intake. Just standard bolt-ons, really. The catch mm. can. It's got yeah. the. It's a custom front mount intercooler with all custom boost pipes nice. welded, all made with sort of like a universal kit. And then it's mm. got the diverter relocation, which is for the KO4. Mm -hmm. Upgraded spark plugs, yep. upgraded core packs. Mm -hmm. It's got yeah. engine mounts. Okay. Uh, They're power flex, engine yeah. mount inserts, yeah. and then it's got the Vibrotechnics underneath, okay. which is yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. a big brand that everyone likes to use. And yeah, I've yeah. got to say. I've Definitely, definitely <laughs> yeah, like absolutely. it. Absolutely, but yeah, no, it, it looks really, really nice. And like you said, it's not forged at the moment. No, nope, it's not Is forged at the, the moment. plan eventually, maybe? Yeah, yeah. No, it definitely is. I would love to forge it. I just sort of need the time. Yeah. Uh, obviously a bit more money as well. <laughs> uh, yeah, it might help. <laughs> yeah, it might help. So yeah, it definitely is the plan. I'd love to go sort of with a external wastegate, big turbo yeah. set up, yeah. everything like that. One day, maybe. One day. Yeah, enjoy definitely. enjoy it at the different stage of the build. Definitely. Do you buy yeah. stock as well? Did I, yeah, Did fully stock. stock? Yeah, yeah, fully yeah. stock. Nice. Just completely just standard wheels, everything. Yeah. Just bought it stock. Yeah. I had one of these previous. Yeah. I bought a Cupra 280. Uh huh. And I did not I did not get on with it really? at all. So and then I went back to went this. Back to this. And then, yeah, ever since I just, the last one was crazy, but this one's yeah. even crazier. Yeah. That's where I've just done everything to it. So. <laughs> fair play, fair play. Moving around though, we've got Team Dynamics on this car at the moment. Uh, 18s on yeah, it? So yeah, so 18s wrapped in uh, Michelin PS4s. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got the Porsche BM5 calipers, which are off a Porsche Cayenne okay. or a um, Touareg, the same, same platform. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then it's got the coilovers, mm -hmm. which I don't want to talk about them, they're awful, so <laughs> really? I need to get new ones. Um, <laughs> moving down the side, obviously the back, you've just got upgraded discs and yeah. pads, like the EBCs and stuff like that, yeah. um, just to keep the back sort of hooking down as well. Yeah, yeah. Any un underbody stuff, bracing or anything? Uh, yeah, so it's got the um, anti-roll bars, mm -hmm. it's got the uh, anti-lift kit. Okay, yeah, that's an important thing yeah, to do on this. Yeah, it's got the anti-lift yeah. kit and then obviously all the engine mounts and stuff yeah, like that yeah, underneath. Yeah, course, and then it's yeah. been fully undersealed as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. So stripped everything off and fully yeah. undersealed it. Fair play. Uh, exhaust wise as well? It's got turbo a back full or? turbo back yeah. Cobra. Nice, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Three inch. Yeah, um, nice all the way through. So yeah, that's definitely Fair helps play. with obviously flow. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I mean, as you said, running some decent power, 380 brake. Yeah, 380 brake. So, yeah, it should go, should go pretty well. This one being a DSG car yeah, as well. DSG. Um, so yeah, definitely point and shoot rocket. Uh, but yeah, mate, it, it does look really, really nice. Super clean. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate Super it. Super clean. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to experiencing one of these again. Because you don't, like I was saying in the intro, you don't see them that often compared to Mark 5s and Mark 7s. Yeah, no, it's refreshing to see one and, and nice to see one which has been done uh, so well. But I think what we'll do, we'll hop in, go for a little spin. We'll talk about more about what's been done in here because there's obviously, as you can see, uh, a nice few modifications. And then we'll go from there. Sound good? Lovely. Sound Let's good. Do it. Shifts are nice. They're crisp, aren't they? There's a bit fruity, isn't it? It's all right, yeah. <laughs> They've sort of tuned it so that the turbo sort of kicks in just a little bit later so that you don't mm. get as much spin. Obviously, you're always going to get a bit of spin. It's got no LSD. Yeah. It's got no diff in it or anything. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. always going to get a bit of spin, even with a dry day like this. I yeah. mean, the tyres are cold. But, true. Yeah, that is um, true. I'm happy with it. That's um, the main thing, isn't it? That's the main thing, yeah. So. <laughs> actually really strong. Sounds really nice. I love those shifts. Like you don't have to be going 10 tenths for it to like no, just give it get that. a little snap. Yeah, they are smooth. Um, obviously we had a few problems with the gearbox and stuff like that. Mm. In the future, when I do go for more power, I will upgrade the clutch, the clutch packs yeah, and yeah. stuff like that because yeah. it did slip quite a bit when we okay. went up. I think we reached 495 brake horsepower okay. and we went up to sort of about 580 newton meters, which okay. is quite high. Yeah, yeah. Um, but obviously, it just didn't like it. So, yeah. so you're like a safe level, really. Yeah, it's a nice safe level. It pulls well. I mean, mm. as I said earlier, you had um, Billy's car on the channel. That against this, we was literally neck and neck because we, yeah. because his is obviously four wheel drive. Yeah, he's got a drivetrain loss. Yeah, um, and that was 460. Yeah, right? yeah both on the same dyno and everything. A, so that was quick. As that well. was fast. <laughs> Whilst we're inside as well, gotta say, interior of this is nice. Thank like, you. All the carbon, carbon wheel. Oh, it's an LED wheel as well. Yeah, Turbo LED, gauge up there as well. Turbo gauge, yeah, to, right, just so we can see um, mm. what's going on. Uh, yeah. Bucket seats as well. Yeah, Macaros. From a Corsa. VX I was gonna say, I recognise them. Yeah, made the custom brackets and whatnot myself. Mm. Um, and yeah, fitted them in. Obviously, it's gotta have the resistors for the airbags and whatnot. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. Even so, it's still. Yeah. Still nice, but yeah, I'd probably say the interior is probably one of my favourite parts mm. about the car. Yeah, like no, there's a there's a lot of like bits going on in here. Yeah, as well. a lot of carbon and yeah. steering wheel. Um, rear seat delete as well. Yeah, like rear that. seat delete. <laughs> you got to hang on as well. I'm really trying not to do my silly little laugh, which I always do in these videos, but I'm, I'm always so guilty of it. Yeah, it's just natural instinct when you're a car enthusiast, yeah, you're exactly. enjoying something. It's yeah, just a... like, I experienced so many different cars, but I mean, I could be in a car with double the horsepower as this, for example, yeah. and it will still be, still be enjoyable. Still yeah. be enjoyable, yeah. Well, oh, that's strong for second there. It's got tone. a nice tone to it, yeah. yeah. It's quite high pitched. The brakes are solid as well. Yeah, the brakes are on point the now. Are very good. <laughs> it does feel, I mean, even though the cheap coilovers, yeah. it does feel, they're just stance plus. Mm -hmm. It does feel like it has tightened it up. Obviously, you're going to get a little bit like that, but mm. I just feel like a good set of like BCs or KWs would just yeah. finish this off yeah. for me because I do want to take it on track. That is the build, mm. why it's all done like this. I yeah. do want to take it on track. It just yeah. seems like you've got it all planned out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just, I feel like I've come to a stale point in the build now where it's like, mm. especially because obviously I do YouTube as well. Yeah. I feel like I need to produce more content for people. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. I've come to a bit of a stale, so I'm just sort of toying with the idea of buying another car okay. as well as, yeah. um, and just maybe putting some money into that as well. So nice. just sort of thinking about different bits and bobs to do. Yeah. It does squirm 
come around a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, it is. In a good way. I think it. I think it would definitely benefit from a diff, obviously. Oh, it's gripping now. There you go. <laughs> This that is like, like first. good, yeah. That's like good power for it. Like it's, it's not too much. Yeah, it's not undrivable. It's just solid. Yeah, it's doing. <laughs> it's... Have you got any times with it? Santa Pod. Yeah. So uh, obviously before it broke, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm pretty sure it done a twelve, a twelve eight, okay. something like that. Yeah. It was a twelve yeah, yeah. eight, and I haven't done all to sixties or stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure my draggy e hundred to two hundred is about eight. Okay. So that's that's good. Eight, eight, something like that. Yeah. Um, I'll have to look mm. it and find it, but mm. it was something along them lines. But yeah, no, the numbers prove that the car is doing pretty well. Mm. Like but great it's horse not always it's about not, numbers, is no, it? No, I mean so I just enjoy yeah. the way it drives and the way yeah. it picks up, the way it mm. grips. Yeah. It doesn't feel unsafe when you plant in a corner and the traction's flying off and you're going yeah. straight. <laughs> <laughs> it does sound mega. <laughs> but yeah, mate, no, thank you so much for, uh, for coming down today and showing me yeah, this. No, it's been brilliant. It's always a pleasure to, to feature a golf. Oh, it's, I always go on about it, but yeah, it's nice to get a Mark 6 back on the channel as well. Yeah, no, I appreciate um, you taking the time out and videoing it for me. Yeah, no, mate, no, by all means, by all means, no, fair play. It's been done really nicely as well. Thank you, yeah, I appreciate really nice. it. Um, but yeah, of course, if you want to learn, learn more about Carl's build, then of course, you can not only find him on Instagram, link down below, but also on uh, their YouTube channel as well. So yeah, go check that out down in the description. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.